So, yes, I put makeup on. <laughs> because after a full week of looking like a garbage pal kid, I thought I'd do you a favor. Anyways, we need to have a serious chat, ladies. Like a serious one, so sit down, grab your coffee. As I was catching up with emails this past week, there has been kind of a common theme with some of the questions. And I wanted to dis and why not discuss it here today on Snapchat because that's what to, that's da, 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 da. Lord have mercy and take two <laughs> why not discuss it here on Snapchat because that's what we do we like to take really complicated subjects and discuss it 10 seconds at a time I'm not sure that's the smartest way but um but it's the way we're gonna do it today Probably a lot of us, right? So here's the tough love, ladies. Why have you allowed that to be the new standard for yourself and for your relationship? Why has it been okay for someone to hurt you more than twice? I mean, once it's like, okay, but two, three, four. How you love and respect yourself is how you teach other people to love and respect you. But if you're allowing yourself to be disrespected, then that will surely be the standard of your relationship. But here's another hard truth that we have to look at. Most of the ladies I talk to are always shocked and surprised when their partner hurts them, but when you ask about the beginning of their relationship, there were clear signs that this person has a pattern of hurting, disrespecting, and not being loyal to begin with. So how can you be so shocked and surprised that now that you're in a relationship with this person that they're doing the same? For instance, getting in a relationship with a guy who cheated on his ex with you, but you're shocked that he's cheating on you now. That's just one example out of many, but here's the thing. If someone shows their pattern to you, their history and the way they exist, and it's not something that you would allow in your relationship or something that you don't want your future to be like, stop getting with these people. In the dear words of Maya Angelou, when someone shows themselves to you, believe them. We think that we can change people and that they're not going to do the same things to us that they've shown that they were capable of doing with other people in their past. So when Maya Angelou says, believe people when they show themselves to you. So if someone shows up as a cheater or as someone who can't give their full energy to a relationship or as someone who can't even respect themselves, believe them and stop getting with people you think you can fix or change. But here is the hardcore truth, ladies. Why is it your pattern for getting with emotionally unavailable men? Remember what I said always and forever, the relationship that we have with ourselves sets the foundation for the relationships we have with others. So if you're in a relationship or constantly in and out of relationships with these types of people, it's not about them. It's about you. And you have to do the work. You have to tell the truth. Stop shining a light on their flaws and what they're doing to you in the relationship. You choose what you want to tolerate. And the fact that we're saying, oh my God, but I'm so in love with them, Let's really get clear about it. I'm going to call bullshit on that because I, I just really, it, it's really hard for me to believe that we truly love people who disrespect, let me just break it down for you. If you're with someone who's disrespecting you in the relationship, then that means that you really don't respect yourself, which means there's really no love. And if there's no love flowing within for yourself, how much could you really love another person? It means quite possibly that you're in the relationship out of fear. And that's the truth that you need to say. You really need to figure out why. Because until you tell the truth and get clear about how you're contributing to the state of your life and your relationships, you're going to continue inviting the same types of people, inviting the same types of problem, inviting the same types of drama. And you're going to continue pointing the finger and believing it's other people doing you wrong when it's you doing yourself wrong. Too often we're fitting a square peg in a round hole or trying to and it just does not work that way. You cannot make someone what you want them to be. Not to say that people can't change. I'm definitely not saying that, but here's the truth. You don't change people. <laughs> they change themselves and you can't expect them to just because you wanna stay with them in a relationship. 
so you need to get clear. <laughs> Does this make sense? Please let me know if it makes sense. Comment on Instagram. Let me know if this snap helped in any way. Mm -hmm.